Alright guys, this is game number four of my qualifying games. It's been a little while since we've gone back to this. But anyways, before we keep going with me explaining, I am going to be dropping a full defensive ebook. And this is going to cover all the way from the basics. Talk about every single zone in the game. To how you can get a better user. To how you can use quick adjustments. And then we're going to be getting into the full defensive scheme. Okay, 335 wide, 335 and big nickel. Mostly putting a lot of focus on big nickel and 335 wide as those are my favorite defenses in the game. Now, it is going to be available for purchase. I'm not sure how much yet. Just letting you guys know right now. So, here we go. We're starting off with flood. Every single time I can hit flood, I'm hitting flood, okay? Now, right here inside the five yard, I really do just need to shut my audibles, go into trip side and offset. Again, this is really why I'm not putting out offensive schemes for you guys. Because I'm not really an offensive player. I never have been much of an offensive player. Uh, I guess two years ago I was a good offensive player. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, we evolve, okay? We evolve, we adapt, we change as the game goes on and on and on. We're going to go ahead and run trips on the short side demon. I'm looking for Devontae Adams up the seams. He is not there, so we look for Valdez Scantling instead. And we go ahead and get the toe tap in bounds for an easy dot touchdown starting off our first drive seven and oh okay so anytime somebody comes out to cover three if you have a trip set whether it be trio flex trip tight end tight end offset trio blah 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 you, you name it go to verticals and just look for the guy up the seams every single time because nine times out of ten the user is not going to guard that all right so right here he's going to run this uh single back I don't, bro, I don't have a clue what it is. He's going to run a jet sweep, okay? <laughs> a jet sweep. And and now he's going to single back bunch tight end. I will say this. If you guys use the tool huddle.gg, they do not have this on their website. It is a live playbook. I actually had to Google YouTube this one myself because I've never heard of this formation before because I don't use live playbooks. But apparently it's in the Bills live offense. I, I never ran into this formation ever before, but after looking at it, that power O RPO, it, it honestly, he could have ran it a lot more, and it would have given me a headache, okay? I didn't really have an answer how to stop that power O. I know how to stop RPOs now. You just got to go cover zero. It's pretty stupid that they, I don't even know what they buffed and what they changed on zones to say that they now play it, because they don't, but anyways... Moving on from that, this guy's going to be just jumping between a variety of formations from empty to single back bunch to single back bunch tied in to this doubles wing stack or whatever it's called. Uh, no, it's not doubles wing stack. And then delay fade. <laughs> I mean, this guy's hopping between thousands of formations. Honestly, I didn't get a chance to look at his playbook. I don't know what playbook he was running, but if he's running a custom, that's an automatic L. Like, it's a forced loss. But apparently not true. Apparently not true. Apparently, because I was talking to one guy, and he ran into somebody that was running a custom playbook, and he reported it, and they said play on. And the guy got the W. So who knows? You probably could have ran a custom and got away with it because EA is just sleazy like that. Anyways, again, just running these jet sweeps, jet sweeps, and corner outs. Uh, we will adjust. Now, five wide. Okay, five wide, in my opinion, is probably the easiest formation to just – defend because all you have to do is really just shade inside for slants and watch a slant post drag whatever you can contain this blitz is going to be a part of the ebook really really simple play call right there shaded over the top and jackson somehow just gets torched off the line no idea how that happened uh yeah i don't i don't really have an answer for it so again we're gonna go ahead and just run this up a little blitz right here you can see we're getting pressure and he's trying to roll out we have contained set he can't escape against the contain and we get the stop we need when in doubt, PA boot roll over it out. So, Devonta Adams, now that I look at that, he is actually wide open. Now, I probably, uh, the, the, we'll be talking about this in a separate video, how you can utilize the blitz to stop this PA boot over, delay fade. It's, it's, yeah, I think it's stupid. But, right here, anybody in their right man is running the ball. In fact, that should be basically a walking touchdown. If you pull the guy off, if you not only pull the guy off the line, you're rushing two and you back air by off into coverage. I should get a guaranteed first down. Like you could see every single time Shaquem Gr or Shaquille Griff, I don't know his name. He's pulling him off the line. <laughs> I, I don't know why these guys think that's good defense. But again, the same exact thing. Pull him off the line. I think he's trying to do some stupid user rush. I, c I honestly couldn't tell you. But you know what? We're going to go ahead and run inside zone. If he wants to just go ahead and pull that far outside and take him out of the run game altogether. 
we're going to just let this clock wind down and we're going to go ahead and run inside zone every single down until he gets out of it. Right there, I think our offensive line is just starting to get a little tired and just not able to get the blocks that we need. I don't remember what we're running right here. I, I, I don't know. Inside zone again? No, I doubt we run. Maybe we do run inside zone. No, we are not. We're going to go ahead and run X spot. Looking for Y. Y wide open. Valdez Scantling yet again getting wide open. I will say this. The Packers, they've got one good player to beat man defense, and that is Devontae Adams. Other than that, you just got to rely on Valdez Scantling on motion slants to be able to beat his man. Speaking of Valdez Scantling, right here, another wide open dot up the seams. Cover three again. Hitting the seams for another touchdown, putting us up now. 13 going to be 14 points pending the field goal. Bang, bang, bang. Up 14 going into the half. I cannot remember who gets ball at half. <laughs> You'd think the editor would know this. You'd think the person that recorded and edited the gameplay again. Scream off the edge. Nobody open right there. We shaded it up and in as well. So simple, simple blitz game. Really, really simple. And it's going to be part of the full ebook. I've already posted out my YouTube channel right there. We did not get the blitz off because we did not touch up on the offensive line. But what should have been a pick it is now a drop pick. Drop picks are basically a, a common thing now. Okay, I've just embraced the fact that you're going to drop at least five or six picks a game. <sighs> Whoever gets lucky, man, that, that's what Madden 21 is. Whoever gets more lucky. Right here, again, we're going to go ahead and scream. Anytime you come out five wide, you better be ready for the blitz. This is how I love to defend five wide. I blitz them, and I make sure we go ahead and get the user pick. Give me that. And right here, we have the ball carrier on conservative. If you run into that issue, I don't know why they have it on defense still. You just click A, okay? Click A, and he'll get back into a normal running motion. They honestly, they need to fix that because the defender shouldn't be impacted by ball carrier conservative. I, it's just, I, I don't know. They just really outdid themselves. Again, Devontae Adams, as I was talking about, motion over slant, easy dot for first down. Pending the field goal, we are now going to be up 21 to zip in the first half, okay? Now, I've been trying out the 245 double A gap mid blitz. I still got a lot to learn with that, okay? There's a lot to learn. I don't know if he can really run it super effectively in uh, regs because you don't have the guys needed to be able to pull it off. Now, right there, I peeled off my user from the crosser because I knew I had a third, I had the seam flap, and I was just waiting for that delay fade. I was just waiting for the delay fade the entire time. That's really the best way to take it away. It's just a simple user. Again, he takes his little check down. If you are down 21 points with a little less, little over, excuse me, a little over a minute remaining, you guys got to be comfortable with that. So we get him to a fourth and two. Again, five wide. What we're going to do, we're going to scream at you, boys. We're going to scream at you. So again, we're just going to shade inside, okay? I'm not going to bother shading over top right here. If he wants to beat me over top, he can do that. I'm going to just shade inside, take any short stuff away. I probably should shade over, but I just want to scream at him. Again, keep him in the pocket. Make sure he stays in the pocket right there. The blitz does not get home, and if you look back at that real fast, you will find that my guy got stuck in the offensive line. So what should have been a turnover, DDA kicks in, and he gets an absolute beam for a first down. So again, single back bunch tight end is power ORPO. Okay, this gave me a headache, and now the guy I manned up to the one running the bubble, you saw, you saw... He just ran straight past him and just said, yeet, screw this, I'm out, bye. I don't know, bro, I don't have a clue. Again, we got to hold the goal line stop. He's getting down to the two, six seconds left in the first half. Single back bunch tight end again, power ORPO, baby. We're getting a good shed. Even if he would have caught that, that would not have been a gain of yards. That would have been a loss of maybe a yard, yard and a half. So he goes five wide. I I haven't ran into QB draw very often. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. QB draw is one of those things that I'm like, uh, what do I do? What do I do? So we're going to just go ahead and prepare for slant. So we're going to go ahead and drop our DNs into vert hooks, shade down and in because nothing's going to get over the top right here. He just does not have enough space to work with, and we get the pick to go ahead and get the game going. So that's going to end the first half. Getting into the second half, this guy's going to go ahead and come out in five wide. Again, Gun Empty Chief. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure this guy must be running a custom. There's no way. There's no way, right? So this is basically going to go ahead and seal the game. He throws another pick straight into double coverage. So GG's to this guy. He's going to go ahead and now rage quit. The W we've all been waiting for. So if you guys are new to the channel, be sure you hit that sub button. Keep an eye out for the e-bucket. We will see you guys in the next one.